Imagine having so much money that you don't have to work anymore. You can spend your time with family and friends and you can live the lifestyle you want if it's traveling or if it's maybe just following your interests. Doesn't that sound great? It definitely does to me. And there are indeed financial movements that strive exactly for that. Now if you are anything like me five years ago and you imagine someone rich, you're probably imagining them like this. But for me things changed when I got introduced to a different definition of rich and also when I found out about those different financial movements whose goal is financial independence. So in this video we're gonna take a closer look at those financial movements. Gold is getting old. The new rich are those who abandon the deferred life plan and create luxury lifestyles in the present using the currency of the new rich, time and mobility. This is a quote of Tim Ferriss's 4-hour work week, which has inspired me as well as many other creators. And to be honest, before I never really questioned the life that is laid out for us. You know, go to school, go to college, then work at a job for at least 40 years and then retire at 60 plus years. Now what Tim introduces in his book is that instead of working our whole life and waiting for retirement when we are old and sick and maybe not even alive anymore, we should try the idea of retirement which is basically enjoying our life and our time when we are still young. And money in this scenario is still important, but it especially matters in relation to time. And he created the notion of these mini retirements so that instead of planning to move to the beach at the age of 67, why not try mini retirements over the course of our lives? Like taking, for example, three months to six months and live somewhere around the world just to find out if we actually enjoy it. Maybe then we find out that it's not actually what we wanted after all, or maybe we do and then it's a good thing that we start early. And by going to live abroad we can even take advantage of geo-arbitrage which means saving money because we have actually much lower costs of living in other countries. And I think another aspect of this is remote work which especially since Covid has become much more normal and accepted and it allows people to work from different parts of the world maybe even live as digital nomads. Now this is where the movement where you keep working but try to make it more flexible and maybe even take occasionally time off. But for those people who want to stop working altogether before the age of 60 plus, there is another movement and it is the FIRE movement. FIRE stands for financial independence, retire early. And the goal here is to be able to pursue your interests and your passions without being dependent on traditional employment. This movement was highly influenced by the book Your Money or Your Life from Vicky Robin. And the concept here is to save and invest as much money as possible so that then the interest or what you take out of the principal covers your costs of living. And that is the costs of living of your desired lifestyle. Now the strategies to achieve this is very aggressive saving. So they often save up to 80% of their income to live very frugal in order to be able to save this much money and then also to invest it and live off of passive income streams. Now there is a formula to calculate if you have reached enough to fire, so to be financially independent and retire early is your annual expenses times roughly 25. So that means for example if you have living expenses of $40,000 a year you would need to invest $1 million to be able to live off that money. And to then live off that money they use the 4% rule and the 4% rule states that you can take 4% of your principal out each year without affecting the principal. So the principal keeps compounding over time and by that at least stays the same or grows even bigger. And there are several people and blogs that have made this movement popular, like Mr. Money Mustache, Mad Scientist, Choose FI, The Financial Samurai, or JL Collins. If you wanna check them out, I link their blogs down in the video description. And although the initial FIRE definition was to cover all your expenses of your preferred lifestyle, most of them live minimalism there for a simplified life, for having less possessions, for focusing more on experiences than on possessions and usually they live very frugal. So then over time within the FIRE movement there evolved kind of sub-movements to better represent the different lifestyles. So there is lean FIRE which means to aim for the lowest expenses possible to become financially independent as soon as possible. So their strategy is to live extremely frugal. Words coming to mind are minimalism and DIY. So they're trying to do as much as possible by themselves to not have additional costs. 
and it might even mean to move to low-cost areas or even low-cost countries, which is the geo-arbitrage we already talked about. And one example could be if someone has a job that pays him $80,000 per year net and that person is saving 80% of that income, which is $64,000 a year, and then they would be able to retire after 10 years of working. That would be a net worth of $640,000. And with a 4% rule, this person would then be able to live off of $25,600 a year. Another sub-movement is coast fire. Coast fire means that someone takes a high paying job in the beginning and does that for a couple of years. In those couple of years puts as much as possible into investments so that then their living expenses in retirement are covered. And retirement can also mean here 60 plus years, but also a little bit sooner if they calculate with it. And then once this amount is reached, the person would be able to step down from the high paying job and then take a less paying job that maybe is more fulfilling and also more chill or could maybe just work part-time. And that then allows for a more fulfilling and less stressful lifestyle. They keep the less paying jobs so that they can cover their current bills, but the plan is to not need to put any more towards investments. And they're doing this by calculating with the compound interest over time. So for example, if someone calculates to live off of $50,000 per year, then according to the 4% rule, they would need a principal of $1.25 million. And if they plan to retire 30 years from now and they calculate with an interest rate of 6% per year, then by the age of 30 they will need to have invested $220,000. And then without adding anything to that investment sum, only with compounding they will reach the 1.25 million at the age of 60 years. Another sub-movement is the Risa Fire. That is if someone has enough invested for Lean Fire, so they have enough to cover the necessary bills but maybe they're not sure if retiring is really for them or maybe they enjoy their job so much. And this can kind of become an in-between stage where maybe you're not sure if this completely retiring is actually your thing. Maybe you're enjoying your job so much that you want to keep working in it or maybe you're striving for a more advanced lifestyle and because of that you keep working but you keep working on your own terms. So maybe only part-time or maybe only your side hustle. And for those who are aiming for a really comfortable lifestyle, there is fat fire. And fat fire basically means to be able to live in the most expensive cities in the world, be able to live in a nice house, also traveling several weeks per year and be able to afford the hotels that you want. So overall not worry about the prices of the things that you want. And this definitely is the hardest like fire stage to get to because you need quite a lot of money for that. Especially now since prices for flights and hotels and also food have skyrocketed. Anyway, let's take a look at an example. So neither of those definitions I made were very precise. So let's assume we are in a range here between living off of $100,000 per year and $400,000 per year. So in these cases, you would need a principal of $2.5 million and $10 million respectively. As for myself, I do like a luxury lifestyle, so I would be working towards fat fire, but I also do like working and I kind of cannot imagine to just stop and do nothing. So I guess I'm kind of in between financial independence, but also keep working on my own terms. Of course, I'm still in the beginning of that journey and things might change over time. If any of this sounded intriguing to you and you want to continue on this journey like me, I think the very first level you need to reach is financial security. In this video I explain the six steps that you need to reach in order to be financially secure. So I hope you got some value out of this and maybe even were a little bit inspired like I was. Thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye!